Let me share 10 different things that you could do inside of Google Meets that most people don't know about. The very first one is a shortcut for starting a meeting. All you have to do is go to meet.new and type that in and press enter. And that's gonna bring you right inside of a meeting and you could invite people from here. Number two, you could add AI generated virtual backgrounds. All you have to do down here is press the three dots inside of a meeting and go to apply visual effects. And over here, you're gonna have some backgrounds to choose from and you could go ahead and generate these using AI. So all you have to do is press the pencil icon over here and then you could go ahead and type in any type of prompt you want. And then over here, you could choose a different style. So in this case, I want it to be a photography realistic style, create some samples. And I got a few different samples here on the bottom so I could select these to see how they look. And it's that simple to create these virtual backgrounds created with AI. The next tip is you could actually use professional microphones and select them here inside your meeting and they give you a whole different sound quality. So in order to do that, just plug in a microphone and then down here, this microphone option, it has a little arrow and if you select it, you'll see multiple microphones that will appear on this dropdown and there are very inexpensive USB microphones that sound just as good as the one I'm using right now that plug in right to your computer, your desktop, your laptop. I'll link one in the description below this video so you could check it out. Tip number four is called studio lighting and studio look and it's gonna really enhance the quality of your Zoom meeting. So to get to it, you just press the three dots here again and then go to apply visual effects and then go down to the appearance tab. So we looked at the background tab before. Studio lighting, I'm sitting in a studio right now so this might not be a big difference but typically you could go ahead and turn this on and this actually does look a little bit better and it lets you control the two different lights. You can see it's changing the light. So one is gonna be on the left, one is gonna be on the right, and you could control it, and you could even change the color if you wanna make it warmer, cooler. And they also have this other option, Studio Look, to enhance it even more. So you could experiment with these two settings from this tab. Now the next tip is using whiteboard. So if you press the three dots right on top, whiteboard, actually allows you to start a new whiteboard over here. And this is the page everyone's gonna see over here. And you got a ton of different tools over here. So you could actually choose different highlighters, for example. You could also add sticky notes here. So add your notes over here using sticky notes. It's gonna add it to this board here. And whatever you're doing on this page, everyone could see what's going on with your notes. Tip number six is live captions that are generated using AI. So press the three dots over here. Go ahead and turn on captions and Everything I say now is gonna go ahead and get transcribed and captioned right on the bottom of the meeting. Really useful tool. Tip number seven is improving your video quality using your existing camera. So all you have to do is go down to the camera icon in a meeting, press this little drop down, and then click on settings. And you have multiple settings. One of them is resolution. And if it's set to auto, it's gonna keep changing it depending on your speed for your internet but you could actually change this to high definition over here and then it's gonna to stick to high definition and the receive resolution, you could always change that too to high definition or full high definition too. If you really wanna take this to the next level, they do allow you to input different cameras so you could get high-end USB cameras if you don't have a good camera on your laptop or on your computer and plug that in and then it will show up in this selection over here. So I'll put one that I recommend in the description below the video. The next one is a really useful shortcut on your keyboard. So if you are on a PC, if you press Control D, or if you're on a Mac, you could press Command and D, and then that's gonna mute your microphone. Right now you see the microphone, mute, unmute, if I use that keyboard shortcut. A real quick way to just quickly mute yourself if you need to be muted. And they have an option just for camera too. If you press Command E if you're on a Mac, or Control plus E if you're on a PC, it will quickly switch your camera on and off. So you can see I'm just turning my camera on and off very quickly using that keyboard shortcut. Tip number nine is you could actually conduct polls and surveys using Google Meet. All you have to do is press the activities tab that's on the very corner and they have this poll option right here where you could go ahead and poll your audience. Now this is only a premium option so if you don't have a premium account you do have to upgrade. And tip number 10 is using an AI assistant for your meeting. It's gonna do a ton of different things. Let me show you. So this one, I'm gonna show you with a paid account with Google Workspace. This is the version I have. This is called Read Meeting Note Taker. If I press the plus sign, 
These are all the different types of apps you could get from Google Workspace. I'm gonna show you another option if you don't have what I'm showing you here, but this one, Read Meeting Note Taker right here, you just have to install it. And once you activate that AI, basically it listens in on the meeting and then it will give you complete notes after the meeting and it's gonna give you all kinds of different things, including a summary and a recap. Another app you could use to do exactly that, especially if you don't have a Google Workspace account and you're just using the regular Google Meets is this other option. This is a fireflies.ai, and this integrates with all the top video conferencing platform, including Google Meet and Zoom. And if you wanna learn about other AI tools that you could use for work and business, I covered the top 50 in a single video, so I'll go ahead and link that here, and I'll see you then.